Okay, so we're about to leave for the Lake District. Yes. Little experiment. We are at 95%. And how long is the journey? Seven, eight hours? Uh, yeah. We are literally driving from one side of the country. For context, we live in West Cornwall. So right down the bottom and we're going all the way up to the Lake District to a place called Ambleside. And we're doing it in the BMW i4 electric. And it's a nice experiment because we've never driven this far in an electric car. We've never had an electric car before this. I'm very interested to see how the charging points work, how the battery copes, and let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it is half past seven in the morning, and we wish we'd left an hour ago, but let's get on with it now. <laughs> yeah, it always works out that way. Doesn't it, it does, let's go. snug as a bug in a rug. She's all strapped in, don't worry. She's got her little seat belt and she's got her dog bed. She doesn't love driving. I think it makes her feel a bit ill, potentially. She's never been sick, but I can tell she looks a bit uh, woozy. Motorway, dual carriageway, she's better. better with windy roads around Cornwall. She doesn't like as much. Sorry, I just realised there's music on the background. Um, yeah, she does. She does get a little bit woozy on the windy roads. You can see it in her eyes, can't you? I just know her. But now she doesn't. She doesn't look too bad now. I can see her facial expression. She's a bit confused, but she seems okay. Wow. It's about to go right in my eyes. That is so beautiful. This is where we used to turn off to go home at Jamaica Inn. And my old house is like five minutes from Jamaica Inn. So if you've ever driven to Cornwall and you've stopped at Jamaica Inn, leave a comment down below because you know exactly where I'm talking about. But it's a really lovely landscape here. And it'd be interested, interesting to see how the landscape changes as we drive up to the Lake District. I think it will go like um, very city built up landscape and then we'll suddenly be back into the countryside like this, except it won't be, it's be much hillier, obviously. 
Probably be more lakes. More lakes, yes. <laughs> There's only like one hill that's kind of big in Cornwall called Brown Willy. <laughs> Boulder this tank. You're wrong, Alex. Look, there's a lake right there. Isn't oh. that Colliford Lake? Yeah, that's the other side. Yeah, but they're this part of the same thing. Is it? Yeah. Cauliflower Lake. Cauliflower Lake. forecast for pretty icy weather. My mum this morning <laughs> sent me an article. What did the article say? Just drivers warned about travel. There's going to be very cold weather and it's now snowing. It's literally snowing. Oh my goodness. I mean I kind of love this. It's so festive. It's kind of like quite fun really, you know, driving across the country in a new electric car. Yeah. when it's snowing as long as it's not icy but look at this how cool i can't believe it's snowing i want to capture it because it might be the only time it does it i haven't seen snow in so long We're just pulling up to Exeter Services. And it looks like there's lots of chargers available. High power? Yeah. That's really good. I was worried that we would get here and it'd be really busy. It is a Thursday, so maybe on Fridays it would be busier, but there's loads of them available. Look how neat this is. You could have let it do it for you. This is our first time doing this. Um, we've never had an electric car before and also we've only charged it at home. So it's quite literally our first experience doing this. So let's see how it works. Plug the car charging cable into your vehicle. Okay. Okay, it's quite mm -hmm. yellow. So we're at 34% and what time is it? It no, is... 26. Sorry, it says when it will be at 100%. So it's, yeah, basically it's saying it's going to take an hour to get to 100%, which we've actually timed how long we usually spend at Exeter Services and usually it's about 45 minutes. Minimum. Minimum, because we usually go to the toilet. We've got, we've got Roxy as well, so we've got to let her out, go, go for a little wee, uh, get snacks, get food, get inside, eat the food. It ends up taking that long. You never expect it to, but it always ends up taking that long. So... Not bad. That's oh, alright. It is unbelievably freezing. Look, your shoes match the car. Well, it's already at 37, not bad. Oh, Bobby! Do you want to go outside for little walkies? Just a little one, just a little runabout. Come on. Alex, did you plan this? Look at you! Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I need a photo of you, wait. Roxy's absolute favourite thing in the world to do is to roll in frost. She absolutely loves frost. You're so funny. Bobby! I'm assuming there's lots more smells. I don't know. I mean, she likes the feeling of the cold. Let me know why dogs do this, why Roxy might be doing this. Hey! Frost, frost, frost! First, first, first! Hey, let's go! <laughs> let's run in the frost! <laughs> Come on, Bobby! <laughs> the 
this temperature is jarring. And I just realized I left my gloves at my sister's house. I think Alex and I are gonna have to go to a shop and get some gloves because Alex didn't bring gloves. We've only got, I've got a hat and a scarf, but um, I think we need to go and get some gloves from somewhere. Roxy is just loving the fact that <laughs> she makes this whole area. Bobby, you are insane. <laughs> You're gonna be dizzy. Maybe it's because there's so many dogs that we hear when it's frosty. Does it like make the smell come out more? I don't know. Look at that. 77% and we're only just done with getting all our bits. Yeah. Not bad at all, not bad at all. I got myself a ham and cheese toasty from Costa. They have a vegan one. And Alex got the... Can you believe stuck. it? A bit stuck. <laughs> so yeah, they do a ham and cheese toasty. Mm. And... The guy was really friendly at the Krispy Kreme. He was. And he, he gave us... Cold and bored. It's so nice. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh. We have four vegan donuts. So they had the, what were they? Chocolate and fudge and caramel? Chocolate custard and caramel something. I don't love custard, so you can have those ones. Yeah, but I love the filled ones. Okay, these look great. But they were the only two vegan ones they had. And I wasn't not going to get four. <laughs> Alex, what did you get? I got a Burger King Vegan Royale. What was it? Pig, pigs and Blanket Costa I'm not really baguette. Good at it's basically a sausage stuffing, bacon, cranberry. It smells really good. Oh, cranberry. Um, you picked it out. Panini. Yeah. They do sometimes, I swear they have like a breakfast one. Roxy, look at her. Maybe that's Starbucks. <laughs> no. No. Oh, that's right. You, you got one once here, didn't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. If I do this. But I guess it's been replaced by the um, Christmas. seasonal one. Yeah. I don't want to have too many options for vegans. I got myself a gingerbread latte. Oh. Alex got himself an Americano. Did you hear that grumble? Because she didn't get any food. Should I give her my crust? Why not? Okay. Not, to, not while we're eating. Let me try it. It's nice. Ooh. It's like something I'd make at home. Mm. Comforting. Better than a burger or something. Where did you pick the better one? You did. Yeah, it's more lunch. But that's something you would make all hours of the day. Why won't it come out? It's stuck to the container. Yeah, the only thing about these is I have had it before. They're a bit soggy. Like... That was that fella. So if you go to Costa, get that. Oh, oh. no, battery. The, this wouldn't be my choice of donut flavour though. The, this is the only vegan ones. I would have a glazed or a strawberry or something. Weirdo. That's nice though. That's kind of glazed. The thing with Krispy Kreme is they're so intense, they're so sugary. Like, the best donuts are the Crosstown ones in London. Oh, also actually, the um, well, ones we had for the wedding, they, they were so intense. good. Not as much as these, no, they're not I as sugary. I the ones at the, our wedding. Our yeah. wedding from um, Beige Donuts in Penzance. If you're in Cornwall, go there, because their donuts are epic. They are so good. The different flavors that they, we basically ordered a whole load of them. Did we order like 30, 15, 20? I don't know, we ordered like 20 or 30 of them for the wedding day. So that basically the makeup artists, the hairdressers, the photographers, everyone in each house would have something for breakfast. We also like had like some cereal and some bread and stuff, but I kind of thought that the vibe would be that everyone's kind of getting ready and rushing around and just having some donuts just to grab and eat would be good. And they were so good. Like we ate all of them. They disappeared. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm going to give you a review which one's the best. 
What flavour custard is inside? It said chocolate custard. So plain custard, if it's yellow. Mm. No. I like the other one better. <laughs> Great. It's 10.31, have you taken the plug out? Yeah. It is 99% charged, so how long was that? That oh, was just under an hour. Just under an hour. <clears throat> and we could have left earlier because, um, I think, what did you say, Not to 80 when is quicker? We, when we came back after the food, it was like 76%. And that would have been enough to get us to our next stop. Yes. One so. more charging stop on the journey. And I don't think it caused us an inconvenience at all because we have Roxy, we had to go in separately. No. When we finished our food, I made Alex go in and get snacks, so I'm eating some crisps. Yeah, this is what we would have done. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Very cool. I've only ever driven automatic, like test driving a car. Yeah. So it's really weird not using the clutch. I think I'm going to need my sunglasses. If this is the last clip we ever film, you'll know what happened. I officially just pulled onto the motorway. Nearly crashed, but here we are. No, I didn't. That was very smooth. And I've got the lane assist on, which is really useful because you set the speed and you, it just does the, keeps you in the lane. Take your hands off and have a nap. <laughs> it, you have to put your foot down on the accelerator. I just don't, I, I'm so not, I've never experienced a car that's been this luxurious and had so much assisted driving. Ooh. So what do you do when this happens? So this is, so there you go, I'm just learning. So when there's, obviously this is a car pulling, you can still use, it just turns the lane assist off essentially. Yeah, if you brake, it stops it. Yeah, because a lorry- We've never had a car with cruise control, so it's no, a nice. Because a lorry pulled in, so I yeah. had to then. I'm going really slow, because I'm just trying to learn. That's fine, I'll stop filming you. It's okay. Resume, yes please. Okay, one hour away from the charging stop. Wonderful. And then if I'm fed up by then, you can... Um... So is that, well, is it, is it said like 16%, is it predicting the battery when we get there? Oh, uh, okay. That's good. Yeah, so we'll go past Birmingham. I hope there's no traffic. Bobby. Hello. We've experienced our first hiccup. We've stopped at Moto Stafford North. No. Oh. Uh, oh, it's a different one. This is where we're trying to get to now. Yeah, but where are we now? We're at a different... Uh, Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton. We're at a charging station and um, it's out of order. Uh, so, and it's actually very annoying because this man over here, he pulled into the electric parking spot that I was pulling into. Um, I don't know, I did confront him. I said I was reversing into there and he said, oh, well, your reversing lights weren't on. I was like, well, <laughs> you know, it's the sort of scenario in a movie when you're reversing and then a car just goes whoosh right in. So, yeah. quite rude. I've never, never really seen that happen in real life. Yeah, um, and of course, the one, that, the one that's, the one that's free, oh, it's broken. Charge. So, um, yeah, we would have been okay, but we're gonna have to move now. So we're gonna go to the next services. Right, take two. We're at 14%. Cars. This is quite pretty, look at that. Mm. Slow, ducks. Mind the ducks. Huh. Oh. It's like it snowed in. Right, so let's give this a go, shall we? You can hear it doing it. Thank goodness for that, we've got 50 kilowatts this time. <laughs> okay, it's working. So it's quarter to three, and it's saying it would be full at half four. And Bobby can get her little walk. Come on, Bobby. 
Oh, not this way. <laughs> I've got myself a little vegan KFC burger with a Pepsi. Did I get a straw? Yeah, I did. With a little um, Diet Pepsi. The precision. Hmm? Yeah, the precision. So I was watching you. I haven't had one of these in ages. Mmm. Thousand times better than the Burger King. Like so much better than the Burger King. Yeah. I like little Burger King even though they suck. Well, I got it. Then I went to the toilet and came back and I realised like hidden around the corner was that Malaysian place that yeah. I had all I probably would have got that if I'd known. I'd already ordered. What did but you get? I got a nugget meal because we're having dinner later. Okay. So I thought you might have a nugget or two. I'll have a nugget. We've got the My BMW app, which is quite cool because it shows you your status. Status. So we're at 57% and it's now 23 past. So it's been ne nearly oh, half now. Uh, yeah. So that's quite rapid. More or less. Check the tyre pressure. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Hmm. So it shows if you've got any issues. It's just saying we need to check the tyre pressure. Yeah, I've got a tyre inflator. You can also set that that's, I think, connected to the sat nav. Service and maintenance. That's me. Amazon Alexa. Yeah, so I think it basically just assists you. Rather than having a manual, it's on an app, so you've kind of got way more information. Yeah. Which I personally find very convenient because, <laughs> yeah, I just think that's very... Oh my gosh, look, remote camera. I haven't set that up. I think this one. Oh, actually. so you can preheat the car. I haven't tried it yet. That's really clever. So you can like preheat the seats if you know that it's cold that morning. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> when I was driving earlier, um, I was saying how much safer I feel because because of the cruise control thing, you can set the speed to 70 miles an hour and then um, the car will like notice if other cars are pulling in and it'll brake for you and then you can, um, yeah, it just, it feels much safer that the car itself is paying attention as, as you are. So usually obviously when you're in a manual car, you're the only one paying attention, the car isn't, the car has no idea. So it's kind of cool to be in a car where the car's doing it too. Like it's really like, makes me feel way less stressed out because I hate driving on a motorway. So like I'm so used to driving on really tiny Cornish roads, which some people find stressful. I just find the motorway, like, all the big lorries. Yeah, it's weird that, isn't it? Yeah. I thought, I thought I'd be more scared driving around Cornwall the no. other day, but... We're used to Cornwall. I actually, I hate being on a motorway where it's like, you know, like a variable speed limit and there's like a lorry on your left and it's like road work, so the lanes are as narrow as your car. Yeah. And there's a car overtaking you, and it's like, oh. It's but it does make it less stressful yeah. with the... Anyway, I look like... You turn the, uh, turn the heating on. Huh? You turn the heating on when I did that. Very neat. So when do you think we should leave? When it's reached? Well, I was just seeing how far away the place is. So we're staying at a place called Rothay Manor. It's not playing ball with me, the internet. Oh, we've got no signal here. Oh, I've got much battery left. Uh oh. Can't connect to my. Come on. Got on my phone. 127 miles. So we've actually got 142 miles. So we need to just do it for a bit longer just to make sure. Yeah. Play it safe. Yeah. <laughs> just pulled into Rothay Manor in the Lake District. It's quarter past six, we're at seven percent. I can't remember the exact time we left, but um, I'll put on screen how long it took, what time we did leave. We've just found out that there are electrical charging points here, which we did not think there would be. We thought we were gonna have to go down the road, which is so good. They must be new, because I don't think we could, we could find that information online. I did look on their website. I it's probably just they haven't updated it yet. I secretly hoped. They might be but, new. Yeah. This car park's lovely. It's nice, isn't it? Do you know what's quite nice about arriving in the dark? Is that you yeah. don't see anything till the next day. Yeah, it's yeah. quite exciting. I was thinking of all the nice places we were driving through. Yeah. <gasps> but yeah, oh, that's wild. Right. I think it's essentially about <gasps> ten and a half hours, isn't it? It's taken. Oh, I think we left. Half seven. About, yeah, just about nearly 11 hours ago. 11 hours, okay. Yeah. Not bad. 
We have gone across no, literally the whole country. I thought we'd encounter traffic. I thought driving, we had a lot of traffic. I thought actually. it would be at least eight hours driving. We had a lot of traffic and maybe at one two point because there was a whole section where there was just roadworks. We had to drive forty miles an hour, and then um, most of it we were just driving ten. Um, so yeah, successful trip across England. What's that, Bobby? Do you want to give her one? What's that? What's that? Wide. Come wide. <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> you get yourself a little treat she's, package. So gentle, isn't it? She's yeah. so cute. <laughs> Don't let her stick her face in a plastic bag. She's fine. <laughs> Good girl. Very gentle. Well done. We've just arrived. Um, and I actually think this might be the most beautifully decorated hotel I've ever been in. I, I was trying to think, Alex, have we ever stayed in anywhere more beautiful? I don't think we have. I don't remember. The honeymoon was but it was on it, this level. Yeah, the honeymoon was beautiful, but it was a bit more modern, which is not as much my vibe. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is yeah, like, like a bit more um, trendy, a bit more my feels style. Like, it feels like it's your house. It feels more my style, like the honeymoon we went, the hotel we went to was so cool, but like it was more modern, so it's just like beautiful to admire, but this is like, I would like my home to look like this. It's so gorgeous. So let me give you a full tour. It's called Rothe Manor. We picked it because it's um, in a really lovely location in the Lake District and it takes dogs. And my friend actually recommended it because she had seen it as a place to visit and she was like me and um, my boyfriend, they said that they wanted to go here. so. I had a look, look at it up and actually, funnily enough, I think it's just been announced as like in the top 100 uh, hotels to stay in in Britain, in the Times. And it's also, what's the um, website or the, I said to you, oh, it's this rated or it's it's recommended by. It's X rated. No, what's it called? You know the thing I said the other day? It's Is also it? Condé Nast. What's yeah. that mean? That's like a fancy travel there you go. thing, isn't it? Anyway, Magazine. let's show you the room. As you enter. Excuse me, I'm going to the car. Alex is going to the car. Wait there, Roxy. He'll be back. Apart from all the beautiful hardware, like this kind of stuff, the details really, really are important. So it's got gorgeous hardware. So I think this um, is the new building. Um, I'll talk more about it as I go around. But yeah, as you enter, gorgeous green color. I'm actually really inspired by this color. I'm thinking potential for our bedroom that we're renovating. Uh, little station look they've even got like little cocktail glasses a little cocktail shaker all the tea and everything we've got some treats and stuff in here and then we've got huge wardrobes like massive oh my gosh they've got a dyson fan have they got like a oh my gosh they've got a love oh it's got a diffuser on it oh my gosh that's amazing wow okay Sorry, just ignore how excited I am by this because it just pleases me greatly. So yeah, beautiful floors. And as you come in, amazing lamps, amazing lampshades. And we've got this amazing panelling. But look at this bed. I just, it's just so gorgeous because it's the perfect mixture of traditional. There's a bit of um, tropical, I feel like, influence because of the plant. Maybe not tropical, but... It's very earthy, that's probably what I'm thinking. It's earthy, it's modern, but it's also traditional. It's just gorgeous. We've got this amazing desk area with the biggest television I've ever seen in the hotel room. And I think they've got Sky TV here, which is gonna be wonderful. Looks like they've got some books to read. Oh my gosh, I want to just stay here forever. I love these lamps. A lovely seating area. I feel like I need to just like curl up on this and do some editing and read a book. But this bed, I just want to jump in it. Look at these pillows. I want to find out where they got these pillows from. Gorgeous, gorgeous head spread. Bed spread, head spread, headboard. That's the word I'm looking for. Gorgeous velvet headboard. Amazing paneling, beautiful plant. Oh, sorry, Roxy. Even very, very beautiful curtains. Oh, I love the stripes. You know, this is the thing when you stay in really nice hotels, you get so much inspiration for interiors lovely rug and they so kindly brought us a dog bed for Roxy. We did bring her one, but this is great because she's got her own now. And then out here, because it's the garden room, it's for dogs, there's a whole patio area, which I'll show you properly tomorrow. But it means that obviously we can let her out to go to the... 
Okay, sorry, she just rang and said that Roxy can come to dinner and to breakfast. We were a bit concerned about that because obviously she's in a new place. I didn't want to leave her in here feeling anxious and start scratching at the door for us or anything because we've just traveled long, a long journey and I didn't want to have to leave her here because we've got dinner in about an hour. But yeah, look at this. I just, I'm so inspired in this space. It's so beautiful. Lovely bedside tables, mirror. Hello, I'm looking a bit, I need to spruce myself up because we're gonna go have dinner in a bit. And this is the bathroom. I also, before I go into the bathroom, I'm really starting to think I want to do something like this in one of our bedrooms. Maybe our dressing room where you paint the skirting and the um, architraves and everything in a color rather than white. And the door's very, very cool. Anyway, bathroom, his and hers, double sink. More lovely panelling, you know I love some tongue and groove, except this is shiplap I think, because it's horizontal rather than vertical. And look at this, we've got Bramley body and um, shower products. I've shared these a few times because we actually use this for Roxy now. She has quite dry skin. Um, I'm not sure what, what caused it, but she's had some dry skin recently and so we switched to like more natural products for her and we also use this. I literally have the hand wash and the body lotion and the body wash and the body scrub at home in the shower. So, sorry, Alex just came in with some stuff. Um, yeah, we actually have this in our, our bathroom at home, but I'm excited to try their shampoo and conditioner. It's always so nice when they have really lovely products and I know that these are like a really lovely sustainable brand that's made in the UK. But look at this bathroom. It's just epic. I just, I, just all the details, it's just so cool. And there's even like um, a uh, accessible toilet. Look at that. Amazing. Look at this. So lovely, but I need to do this first. Ah. Cheers. Outfit of the evening. I've gone for comfort, but also trying to look relatively put together. I've got this shirt on from Sea Salt. I've got this recently. It's got the nice kind of rounded, you see like little rounded, small collar. And I love the length of it. And then I've got Tala leggings and my new, can't really see them, my new Aloha boots. It's not the best lighting, but maybe I'll show you them another time in better lighting. But they are gorgeous boots. I love the fact that the heel is like a bit sort of flared at the bottom so it makes them a bit more edgy rather than I don't know I really 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 love them and makes the whole outfit feel a bit more dressed up do you think we need to bother with a coat if we're literally just walking across the thing I get a jacket if you wanted I don't have a jacket <laughs> I think I'll take my <coughs> handbag but literally the manner is there, so I don't think I need a coat. This is the bag that just keeps on giving. I literally wear it with every single outfit and I knew that this would happen. So investing in this kind of excessive luxury thing that I've always wanted has been worth it for me because I promise by the time I'm 50, <laughs> this is gonna have the full cost per wear. What time is it? Okay, we need to go. Even Bobby has a cute outfit. I've given her a little neckerchief with her matching, come on, with her matching lead. Time for dinner. This beautiful room. All the inspiration. I like to look at the curtains. Sorry, someone came over, but I was just saying how it's nice that the um, they've like matched the curtains to the wallpaper. They've not contrasted it. It's kind of like a different take on it. So we had was it white asparagus with kohlrabi stars yeah. and then carrot tacos. Is that what she said? I think so. I just looks. Of, I always forget what they say. I do too because I'm just enamoured by the way it looks. <laughs>
It's like really citrusy. Mm. Delicious. So now we have an amuse bouche of nasturtium flowers, some, I think she said crispy mushrooms, and mm -hmm. um, like mushroom mousse. Seaweed. Seaweed. We had a mushroom mousse in Antibes. I'm assuming it's kind of like. That's really good. So we have a celeriac foam with celeriac. grated truffle. And yet yeah, celeriac, obviously. Bobby is being a bit of a pain, aren't you? It's because she just wants my attention. Shh. All the food so far has been absolutely delicious. We went for a, was it, a Cote de Rhone wine? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what it was called? Number 160. Well, it was, it's delicious wine. Le Rezzo. Le Rezzo. That's not what I said. What did he say? Le Rezzo. Le Rezzo. <laughs> This one was carrot, mm -hmm. pepper, pepper, linseed, linseed, tofu. Got these little linseed, fried linseed, and yeast. That was it, like linseed yeast and crackers. I think maybe the cream is tofu cream. Very like inventive, like fun ideas. Beautifully presented. Mm. You can taste the nutritional yeast. Really yummy and char grilled. Barbecued, they said. That was it. Barbe yeah. Barbecued. I think it's like the yummiest carrots I've ever eaten. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. The size. We're a little tipsy, let's be honest. We're so tired. We've had, like, we've had I mean, hey, food is delicious, but. Carrot as a main. I keep on dodging all the um, waitresses because they are so attentive here. And they've got microphones, they're listening to you. No, they they're come they're, the staff are so wonderful. Mm. They're all so lovely. And the food is, we were just saying, the food is 10 out of 10 delicious. But we're a little hungry. The fact they've created a whole vegan tasting menu is like so great. Yeah. Like, so few places do that. The fact they've just they didn't even question it. They're like, yeah, we've got a full vegan tasting menu. When we booked, we just wrote that we were vegan. And on their website, they just said, if you're vegan, then or if you have dietary requirements, just let us know in advance, and then the chef can accommodate. So like the fact that we're sitting in this beautiful restaurant having such a good meal, like it's, I would, I mean, it's ten out of ten in the experience. The only thing is, I'm a little peckish. But I don't think that's anyone's fault, no. necessarily. Because I think that sometimes, obviously, chefs are like trying to create something really inventive and really tasty. And maybe they're kind of forgetting the fact that, like, when you take away the protein of like meat or fish, it's no KFC. But I also don't want. I don't. I actually don't want to. I literally can't even criticise it because it's all been so delicious. Yeah. It's just. It's, I think it's just um, creating a menu from the perspective of someone who isn't vegan. That's yeah. literally all it is. It's like the chef is like incredibly talented, but they're thinking from a perspective of someone who eats meat and fish. Yeah. So they're thinking, oh, you're vegan, so therefore you, you eat vegetables. This will be really tasty. I'm gonna make vegetables taste incredible, which they have like hit the mark on 100%. So we have, I didn't really hear all of it, orange with a something granola. Granita. Granita. And, and a She's pine and yuzu. Granita. Granita. I missed the middle bit. That was but the it was bit. some. I mean, maybe it was just a was certain just type of granola. Anyway, this was the pre dessert. Pre dessert. When you said pre dessert, I was like, you're onto something here, love. Is that what you said? I <laughs> did. That's what I said. <laughs> mm. So we've realised what this tastes like. You need the little calippo shot things where it had the little beads the tiny little balls of ice lolly mm. but what flavor is that blue yeah so like you know the please comment down below if you know what i'm talking about 
I think they still sell them when we were in France. They sold them there. They're called Calippo shots, right? I think they stopped selling and them they're in like the a UK. little, they're like a round kind of tube thing with like two sides to them. One side has one flavour, the other yeah. side has the it's other like flavour. A cone. A cone, and you twist it. And you just go. And you just yeah, shot it in your mouth essentially. You just that's what that tastes like. So in this rather large bowl, we have pumpkin, panna cotta essentially. Yes. <laughs> so it's panna cotta. I think there's like pumpkin. Seeds, pumpkin syrup, uh, pumpkin on the side, curry, pumpkin, so pumpkin everything. It's pumpkin. And it looks great. Bobby, what are you doing down there? Mm. What's the crunchy bit? They're like candied um, pumpkin. Pumpkin seeds. Oh, that was it, yeah. Here yeah. and they've like, yeah, they've nice. really like put sugar of the pumpkin seeds. Nice. Yeah, really good. Hello, Bobby. <gasps> Bobby? What do you think you're doing? You know, I edit these videos. Yeah. But I secretly add stuff back in when they've been edited by you. Who else does this to their partner? I got Alex to deliver me a toothbrush. You didn't put water on this brush. Yes, I did. Not also, enough. what kind of psychopath cleans their teeth in bed? Me. But what if you Leave need to? Comment. What if you need Who to like? Who does this? Who cleans their teeth in bed and then gets? But don't you have loads of like foam you need to get rid of? No. Weird. No, please! I swear I'm not the only one. Do you get your partner? Maddie's the only one. <laughs> Come on, Bob. I got a side for pee pee. Hello. Giveaway time. So, today we have quite the giveaway. This is for those of you who are really into their health and their supplements. I have been trying this myself for a while and I'll let you know in a future video like more information about it, but basically this is Revive Collagen Vegan Collagen Premium Liquid Collagen Drink Supplement with vitamins B, C, D, E and Panax Jingting, the world's first clinically proven vegan collagen. So this is what it says on the tin, it is a drink supplement that you take and it's vegan collagen and there's a lot here. I'm not exactly sure the amount. Let me just see if I can find out. So that's 56 sachets. So that's basically about two months worth of vegan collagen for you to give this a go from Revive Collagen. And I think it's very interesting that there's a vegan collagen because most collagen isn't vegan. So Revive Vegan Collagen is a sustainable alternative to popular animal, animal sourced collagen supplements. It's got vitamin C with 100% of your recommended daily amount um, because it contributes to normal, normal collagen formation for the normal function of skin. And then Panax Ginseng is naturally found in the foothills of East Asia and is commonly used in herbal medicine. It supports normal energy levels, also known as an adaptogen and vitamin B6, which helps to reduce tiredness and fatigue and contribute to the normal function of the nervous system, psychological function, normal red blo blood cell form formation as function of the immune system. So for all of my health and wellness girlies and guys, this is for you. So please let me know if you would like to win all of this Revive Vegan Collagen by leaving a comment down below, subscribing to my YouTube channel, giving this video a big thumbs up, and also if you have Instagram and TikTok, going and sharing on there and following me over there too. And good luck. And I hope that you're enjoying this giveaway. I feel like I'm zoning out a little bit with these giveaways because I keep on saying the same thing and it's like, have I said the right thing? <laughs> Watch out for scammers. That's what I was thinking. Watch out for scammers and make sure it's only me that you're replying to and giving your information to. I'll only ask for your address and your name. That's literally it. So good luck.